Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to my beloved lecturer, Dr. Wan Surani BT Wan Awang and my fellow friends. Ladies and gentlemen, today our group will be presenting about our group project entitled Utilize Cloud Computing to Advance the Medical Field for our, for our subject Cloud Computing with subject code CSW33303. Before moving on with our presentation, let me introduce myself and my group members. Our group consists of five members, which are Muhammad Faris Haikal bin Muhammad Faris Afidaus, Eno Tiga Dewi Saputra, Muhammad Amar bin Nurzan, Luqman Hakim bin Muhammad Salim, and myself, Haisam bin Muhammad Harun Sain. Let me continue our presentation with an introduction to our group project. As we all know, IT sector has evolved greatly in our daily lives through the recent years. More and more applications and systems have been developed and enhanced day by day. One of the applications involved is cloud computing. Cloud computing is the delivery of different services through the internet. These resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, database, networking, and software. More and more sectors are embracing the cloud to benefit from it, including healthcare or medical, smart transportation, insurance, retail, and education. For our group project, we have decided to suggest appropriate cloud architecture solutions for medical sector. It is because cloud storage makes it simple for medical professionals and institutions to use web servers to safely store a vast amount of data. Such servers, such servers are often maintained by IT professionals. That's all for me. I will pass the presentation to Muhammad Faris Haikal. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Faris Haikal bin Muhammad Faisal Firdaus. And now I'm going to presenting this group project literature review. Healthcare service providers employ a healthcare cloud for systemic administration of the health data among various healthcare providers as well as for storing, reserving, and backing up patient health information. Healthcare services regularly work with a variety of digital information types, both organized and unstructured. The widespread use of the electronic health records has reduced healthcare costs significantly while also improving the patient safety and health. Additionally, moving medical records to the cloud will make it possible for anyone, anywhere to access crucial patient data at any time. However, the lack of the suitable cloud architecture for the design, development, and deployment of healthcare service is posing a significant research issue for many businesses. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Umar Hakim and I will be presenting the case study for this project. Cloud are established and omnipresent tools, but of course, every industry has specific of implementation. Medical sector is a sector that has been at the forefront of many innovations. The same goes for cloud computing. Using cloud computing in medical use is helpful in many areas such as making the exchange of medical records easier and safer, automating accounting and supply operations, and simplify the creation and maintenance of telemedicine application. Cloud computing in the medical industry enables worldwide remote access to information, automated backups, and fast recovery. In addition, most cloud services Providers offer risk management and monitoring service to protect against unauthorized access. That's all for me. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ammar bin Rizan, 060565. And today I will explain about my part, which is the cloud architecture solutions. So, as we know, cloud computing offer a huge amount of data processing and analysis in terms of medical field. Therefore, it is a huge potential left to be implemented in it. 
Therefore, one of the cloud architecture solutions found in previous research was suggesting a platform called the Atsina project, which extends from the GIC architecture and also adopting a like version of a visual distributed parallel architecture and also one of, one of the famous architecture, which is multi-level architecture. Moving on to the next uh, part of the cloud architecture solution, where we, I will explain more about uh, two, well, two of the architecture that will be used in order to uh, create a solution in, term of, in terms of medical field. So for the first part is, uh, is about the GIC architecture. GIC architecture is a new grid computing platform which is used for hosting and interacting with GNU or Linux grid application which through a web portal. GIC architecture also have one, uh, one of the global architecture that is made of a master server that use SOP SOAP to manage the application and execution stated host on a computer resources. The next one is the multi-level service architecture. Multi-level service architecture using uh, an implementation of a web services at a many different level at, of a hierarchy levels, which is the computer resources the lo and the local services. And the last one is the master server. The function of the multi-level services architecture is to propagate from the grid services downside to the hierarchy towards the computer resources for the scheduling tasks. Lastly, in terms of the cloud architecture solution, I will explain about the one of the uh, most famous uh, research, pre, uh, which is the mass segmentation algorithm in terms of a uh, medical imagery onto the Xenergy platform. As we know, in the uh, in the previous uh, research, uh, they will be using a uh, brain visa library to visualize the brain image. After that, in order to improve the visualization, we, uh, they, are, they will be used a platform 2D or 3D visualization, which is which will be implement a hybrid segmentation algorithm. Therefore, to deploy this algorithm and to test the Axinagi architecture, which already combine many different methods, such as the KG k-means, the FCM, and the contextual method such as the region growing in order to produce better result. Uh, in this research also shows the Python implementation using the SPID or the SPADE environment have been deployed onto the platform. The Python code can be deployed without the code change at the same time. All the SPID agent are executed in the same computer resources. In all of that, the Axinagi and the underlying multi-level services architecture have been allowed for a design and a grid architecture that combines two quality computational grid development, which also offer a way for a wide range of grind application in the same way as the PAS cloud service do. So that's all uh, from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anut Gardu Sabutra, E0247. At this time, I will convey the conclusion. Cloud computing will enhance life in the future and offer answer in every area of life, including medicine. As technology advances, transferring medical data to the cloud for processing is possible. The medical procedure can be accelerated by using the numerous services that cloud infrastructure offers to store big volumes of data. A research suggested platform called the Asigna project, which extends the IC architecture by adopting a like version of virtually distributed parallel architecture. 
and multi-level service architecture that enable the deployment of distributed grid application onto the platform is one of the cloud architecture solution for the that implement in the medical case studies.